Well, I just I I feel like they they just have been in this reputation, this kind of rut of this transition. Everybody everybody seems to know that they're waiting for the NX to come out, and they're like doing this sort of transition, and that I think a lot of people are expecting to kind of be bummed out a bit. And we've even said several times that they need to maybe really step it up for this one and prove to people like what what's going on. It seems like they're not necessarily doing that, and they're feeling like that we, they can just do another sort of just show one game and uh, wait wait a little bit to show yeah. the NX. And I just don't know. I, I I hope that it's okay. I hope they do it all right. I, I'm just kind of worried for them because of... And just in the terms of mass reception, is everybody going to be harping on them and kind of coming down hard because they messed up again? Because I feel like they got really beat down last year. And their reputation just hasn't really... Everybody's really excited to find out what the NX is, but their reputation really hasn't gone up at all. And it's almost gone down a bit, I'd say, in terms of what they're expecting from them as a... In terms of games lineup and stuff. I don't know, PS4 is just blowing it out of the water and they're just doing so well. And even Xbox One isn't doing too bad. And I just feel like Nintendo really, really needs to push... Like, they need to come out, and they need to be strong. They need to tell us. They just need to come out and be super transparent, I feel. they For a while, they were really being open with the fans, it seemed, and doing more initiative to And like we've talked about in the past, once Iowata passed away, I think they just shut their doors. Yeah, it's just unfortunate, and I just I just hope it all works out. Um, I feel like I'll probably enjoy it just fine. Yeah, I mean, we'll enjoy it because we're Nintendo yeah. fans. My big thing, and the confidence I have in this year compared to like these other years is that I think Tatsumi Kimishima is confident yeah. in what he's doing. And I don't think he would say only Zelda, only this, yada, 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 if he wasn't confident that what they had to show had enough weight to it to satisfy the show. That being said, yeah. I'm with everyone else. I'm, I completely agree. I wish there was more than Zelda. Uh-huh. I wish we were getting E3 2014 where it was like, because the, the, the hype leading up to 2014, because they had announced the I fighters, little, they had want... announced, like, Prague and D1 yeah. doing the commentary, yeah, they had yeah. announced the GameCube being a controller, they had announced, I mean, they had announced so much, and it was just like, this is going to be hype, like, Smash Invitational, Smash Invitational, it's coming. Yeah, it's true. Um, we didn't, we, and then they got, like, the surprise of Splatoon, like, it, like so there's surprises still to be waited, like, yeah. 2014 was, like, had such a hype leading up to it, and a lot of the stuff leading up to 2016 is, uh, mm. uh yeah. and so... I think I mean, I'm I'm with everyone there that I wish it was different, hmm. but I'm optimistic with how they're going to handle. Like I just want I just, I hope that they're not too, they're not being too cocky a bit with Zelda just because it's been two years now, or more that we've known it's coming, and I think a lot of people I don't know if do they fully realize that a lot of people are over it, and a lot of people are like that's true. A lot of people a lot of people are, are, like, are. A lot of people are like I don't really care too little anymore. too late. Yeah, because like. People have, I mean, and I and I don't say this to be like knocking Nintendo, but come on, there's The Witcher out there, yeah. And in a lot of ways, I mean, I know it's not Zelda, yeah, but in a lot of ways, The Witcher is the best Zelda game ever. Well, like, we for got a lot like, of people. Dark Souls three and stuff, yeah, just came and the out puzzles and, and stuff. Like, I mean, yeah. you have a lot of Nintendo people that love Dark Souls. I mean, even going back to The Witcher and stuff. I mean, The Witcher is a beautiful open world. Yeah, there's puzzle and mystery, detective Has DLC mechanics coming out here. Has really D- soon. Blood and Wines coming. Looks gorgeous. You have sword combat. Yeah. There's crazy monsters. There's crazy boss fights mm-hmm. and interesting things. I mean, for a lot of people, The Witcher was that Zelda crave they wanted. Yeah. And not only did it scratch that itch of some sort of fantasy world that took them on an epic adventure, but it did it so well. Yeah. I mean, it blew Fallout out of the water, which was the king of RPGs for a lot of people. It blew... Yeah. I mean, it blew everything away mm-hmm. that year. And for a lot of people, they're satisfied with fantasy adventure and if they do get a Zelda, they want it to be something like that, something big and epic. They don't want to go by. I mean, mm-hmm. And if Nintendo is putting all this weight on that and then it doesn't deliver in that way, yeah. Yeah. the reason I'm not too worried about that or not like as publicly worried about that is because we have heard Ainuma say, oh, I played Far Cry the other day and I loved mm-hmm. it. Yeah, that, Let's that. delay the game to make it more like that. Oh, I've been playing a lot of other Western games. Uh-huh. And that gives West- me high hopes, and that that Zelda will be based like highly on Western sort yeah. of style. 
And so, and that's why I think maybe it's going to be GM Pat. I think we're, I if they could go out the gate and it basically is on par with the Witcher, you know, or yeah. I mean, that'd be pretty bold. I mean, it, mm. it doesn't need to be on par with the Witcher. Witcher for a lot of people is too much, actually. Yeah. But I mean, if it if it's on par with these kind of Western RPGs that we have, um, I think it's going to be a big thing. But it's the same thing with like I Final find Fantasy that, 15. I find that Witcher is more narratively like yeah. insane and just robust, and that Zelda is more gameplay. Sort yeah. of insane and robust. So yeah, there's always really that. like the gameplay of The Witcher Three. Sorry, I mean, right. but yeah, it's a little well, too wonky. But it's kind of simple and like yeah. just, it's sort of a almost Batman Arkham sort there, of. There, there's some deep mechanics to yeah, it. Yeah, but, yeah, definitely. But the only thing I didn't like was the movement. But I found out you later you can change his movement because right now he moves like if you turn around he. Really... I kind of like it honestly a little bit better than like a Skyrim where at least I mean when you're just kind of yeah like that, that's true. You know? At yeah. least you had some more, yeah, very some flow, some right. counter, all that. Uh huh. Um, yeah, 